Okay. We'll get started. We're about two minutes late. Uh, we want to go ahead and, and get started. Uh, my name is Bill Munford. I've had the honor and privilege of uh, serving in the Florida Senate. Uh, this is my tenth year, uh, and it's been quite an experience. Uh, the counties that I serve are Taylor, Hamilton, Jefferson, Madison, Leon, Walcola, Franklin, Gulf, Calhoun, Liberty, and Gaston. Eleven County is the largest district, uh, Senate district in the state. Uh, it's been my honor, again, it's been my honor and privilege uh, to serve, uh, serve in that capacity. I'm the fifth generation of North Floridian, and I have, as all of you do, a uh, great appreciation and love for this part of the state. Uh, and we're we're here today to talk about uh, something that's a serious issue and a serious threat uh, to, to North Florida and to quite frankly the part of Central Florida uh, as well. Uh, we're going, I'm going to turn the meeting over in just a minute uh, uh, to, uh, to the chair of, of, the, of the committee. Uh, but before I do that, I want to take the opportunity to introduce two of my colleagues in the Florida Senate, in the House of Representatives. Uh, we have Representative Chuck Brandon. Chuck uh, represents a number of districts. Uh, I'm going to ask him to say a couple words here in a minute. Uh, but he and I share uh, Hamilton County, and it's been a pleasure to work with him. Uh, he's been out here in your second session. Just past the year. Just past the year. And uh, it's been a pleasure uh, to work with him. I got to know him real well, and, and uh, he's uh, well, to my left uh, is Reverend Jason Show. Uh, Jason, Jason is uh, is new on the on the block uh, as well. Uh, he just got elected a little over a year ago, and uh, he and I serve together. And, uh, we share nine counties, and so he and I spend a lot of a lot of time uh, together as well. Uh, I'm, I'm going to let them introduce themselves real quickly, and then I'm going to get back to the, to the business at, uh, at hand here. Well, thank you, Senator, and, and I want to say it's very unfortunate that we're having a meeting today. I think that, that water quality is one of the biggest issues that we face in Florida. Uh, right now, right here, uh, it's also an issue that we're going to be facing for years to come, and I think that this is, as I said before, it's, an, it's unfortunate. And I think that they may be putting it nicely. Uh, I appreciate everybody coming out here today, and hopefully this is the, the start of cooperation that will fix this once and for all, and that we won't have to meet like this again. Thank you, Senator. Um, I've got Baker, Columbia, Swanee, Hamilton, and a portion of Alachua County. And uh, like the Senator said, uh, a, a little over a year. But I think we uh, a long ways to go, 99% of the way to go. We have made great strides in the last year. Just look at the amount of people here and drawing attention to the problem, and we're going to continue to do that. And I appreciate you getting us together. I understand there will be another meeting tonight about Boston, and I'll be quiet because we need to get there. All right, thank you, Representative. And you can't have this kind of meeting without introducing Alachua County Let me let me just say uh, just a couple of things, and then again we'll get down we'll get down to business for while we're here. A lot of us are very very we're, not only are we frustrated, uh, but we're very very concerned from several different perspectives. And what we have to do is make sure that this issue gets as much attention as it deserves. Now we hear a lot about things going on in other parts of this state. But what we're here to tell you that this part of the state will get the same amount of, of attention as any other part of this state here. Uh, just because we don't have sometimes the magnitude of the problems in the other part of Florida, this issue is just as serious to us as it is anywhere in the state. And I also share with you that Florida is no different than any other state in this union. This state deserves protection and the, and the recognition of this issue from our federal government. That's why we're here. 
Uh, we do have officials from the state uh, and federal level uh, here, and we'll give them a chance just a minute when I turn it over to the chair of the task force uh, to introduce themselves. Uh, it's uh, Georgia officials uh, were invited to come to this meeting uh, for whatever reason, conflict was scheduled or whatever, they could not attend. Uh, we made arrangements for them to call in on uh, by the telephone, and they have made a decision not to participate in this meeting by phone. Uh, that's their decision. I'm not saying I agree with it, but that's their decision. Uh, with that uh, in mind, let me let me uh, introduce Rick Davis, Commissioner Rick Davis. Uh, where, where Rick? Uh, Rick not only is a commissioner. But he's uh, had the opportunity, and we're very fortunate that he served the chair of the task force. Uh, this has been uh, an issue with him, a top priority to him, uh, not only as a commissioner, but certainly as a citizen uh, of this state and part of in, in North Florida. So, Rick, we appreciate uh, the work that you've already put into this issue. Uh, our goal today is to answer questions and get some kind of direction. Uh, so when we leave here today, uh, we've got some sense of who's going to do what and when. Because, quite frankly, we cannot tolerate business as usual. We cannot allow this to continue to put our people uh, in harm's way from a health standpoint and in, in, in our environment as well. We will not tolerate that. I promise you the three of us, and I'm confident that our federal representatives as well, who will be introduced here in a minute, feel just as strongly about this issue as any other. So, Commissioner Davis, turn it over to you, and thank you for your participation. 